So another important concept in testing the assumptions of linear regression is autocorrelation and autocorrelation is also a very important concept in time series analysis, right? So let's see what it is. So in terms of time series, autocorrelation refers to the correlation of a time series with its own past and future values, okay? So the relation between a value today with its value yesterday or a value today with its value tomorrow. So that correlation between these, okay? But when it comes to assumptions of linear regression, which we test by darbin watson test, so here the darbin watson statistics is a number that tests for correlation in residuals from a regression analysis. So it is, the darbin watson is related to the residuals of a regression analysis, right? And the value is always between zero to four, and the value of 2 means that there is no autocorrelation detected in the sample and value from 0 to 2 indicate positive autocorrelation and value from 2 to 4 indicate negative correlation, okay? So here, just to show you the, exam uh, the equations here, so for normal time series, for normal calculation of the autocorrelation, the equation is rho equals to covariance of today's value with yesterday's or tomorrow's value, okay? The co covariance between these two divided by the variance of the time series, okay? So that is the correlation of the two time series, and that's known as the autocorrelation in this context, okay? But when we talk about Durbin watson test for residual, uh, for autocorrelation in residual of a regression, then if et is the residual given by et equals to rho multiplied with et minus one plus vt, then the darbin watson test statistic D equals to this form, okay? So here, as you know, that it is the residual, time is T, okay? So if you do the calculation doing this, then you will get a value of darbin watson test, which will be always between zero to four. And approximately, if we just use two multiplied by one minus rho, the rho comes from the equation here, then actually we will also get the value of D approximately, okay? And although here we talk about a value of two for no autocorrelation, normally as a rule of thumb, you can use from 1.7 to 2.3 or 2.4 up to, to indicate uh, no autocorrelation problem in the data, okay?